Hey, today I'm going to go over cropping in Illustrator, a couple different ways to do that. You could use a clipping mask in the layers palette to do that, but when you export to a raster image, if you want to do that to create, for example, a JPEG, it's going to often uh, keep that area that was originally cropped out, and it'll add just a blank color in sort of the outline of the background there. So here's a different way to do a crop in Illustrator. Um, I have Adobe CS5 uh, Illustrator here, uh, but it should work in 5.5 as well. Uh, what you want to do, I just have an illustration I made a couple years ago of a robot in the clouds, I don't know. Um, but what you want to do is go to this artboard tool, and then you can actually resize the artboard. So let's say I wanted to crop this out just to right there, then right over here. Yeah, if you, whatever you want included in the final result you'd want to keep in the artboard so you know let's say you're wanting to crop it to something smaller like that you're not wanting to resize it you just want to crop it out in Photoshop it's a little bit different you just use a crop tool so this is just a workaround um, you can press enter and it'll give you some uh, options for the artboard as well I'm just gonna hit OK I'm gonna choose one of the selection tools and now we have a new artboard size with the border there. Alright, so you can see that. Now if I save that as an Illustrator file, it's still gonna have all this content. But if you go to File, Export, and then you can set it to JPEG, for example, um, any of those different formats, and then just hit Save, and make sure you have Use Artboard selected, and it will create a JPEG that only has this content here inside the artboard. All right, so that's one way to crop um, in Illustrator. Now, let's say you want to keep the Illustrator file. You don't necessarily want to crop out, uh, you know, something and export it as a JPEG. You just want to cut off the edges of an illustration, for example. All right, so if you have a pretty simple illustration like this streetlight. Uh, scene I created. What you can do, let's just say you just want to crop out uh, the right hand side and the top hand side. Well, one workaround is I'm just going to set it to a fill here. I'm just going to make it a color so you can see it. And select the rectangle tool. Alright, and click and drag. I'm going to click and drag over this area here. And now that's on the top. Alright, I'm going to select all of this or you can do control A or command A on the Mac and go to window pathfinder and then over here the second shape mode option minus front go ahead and click that and it's going to crop out the edge there now it does affect your image a little bit that's the only problem um, if you have a very simple image it'll work better if you have a lot of content going on it may not be the best option for you so I'll show you a simple example here if you have the green shape here, I'm going to move the street scene over a little bit, and you have, let's say, a star, and uh, I'm going to bring the rectangle to the top, and this is helpful if you're creating, for example, a logo, and you want just half that, uh, half of that shape. So object, arrange, bring to front, make sure it's in the front, and I'm just going to select both of these, and then again, minus front, and then you have a nice image here that you can work with because we cropped out the right-hand side of it. All right, so that's a basic way to do it with the minus front shape mode in the Pathfinder, uh, or if you want to export it, for example, say you have a placed photo in here and you want to just crop it without having to use Photoshop, you can use the artboard tool. So those are two ways of cropping. There's a, oftentimes many ways to do the same thing in Adobe programs. So those are two things to consider depending on the complexity and number of shapes in your illustration. Thank you.